Maggie, this is on my iPad. What I did was I downloaded the PBS app, which it shows your local PBS station up here, which in my case is KLRN. And then if you go over here to the upper right, right there, see this little thing here? That's how you cast your TV. You push that, and then in this case I have two TVs. Uh, let's let the, there you go, living room TV and man cave. I'm going to push living room TV. I loved Ken Burns series on the Civil War. It was deeply impacting. I love history. And then it's going to usually stop on the, I, the iPhone. And then you can look up and see it loading up on the TV. And there you go, in full stereo sound and everything. And that would be the latest episode of Queen Elizabeth. I guess that's what you're watching it. Oh, that's Queen Elizabeth, but okay. Ew, those are creepy. Whoa. Wow. Hey, this might be good. I've never seen this. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, let's stop it now. It done. I won't let me. I have to stop casting. So, I'm going to hit this. You can also, while you're watching it, there's this thing here. Down here at the bottom, this bar. You can... You can, well, you can, you can control it from there. And then you have this other button here, add to watch list. Now what that will do is that will keep that in your watch list. This is in the PBS app, not the YouTube TV app. Um, and then you've got Victoria here. You can watch this show, too, and it tells you what the latest episode is, and it goes, uh, it looks like you can see back episodes with it, too. So, so that would be all your PBS stuff. So you can get PBS with your Chromecast. Okay, and I will also do a little demonstration of YouTube TV. But anyway, this really looks interesting. I added that to my watch list. Okie doke. Okay, hopefully I can start back from season one. Okay, bye-bye.